We were praying for revival, believing God would do a big work in Syria. Then the war came. Now the terrorists are attacking Christian homes, churches, and even our children. Their goal is to empty Syria of its Christians. We hate the spirit of Islam that is destroying our country, but we love our Muslim neighbors. They come to us and say, in the name of our God, terrorists rape and kill, where is God? We tell them about Jesus, and many are coming to know him. Still others say, we are like living in hell. One day, while I was praying, I asked God what he would have me do to be his witness. But he only asked me, will you give me your life? As I prayed, I understood he wanted all of me. And I said yes. If the time came, I was willing to die for Jesus. The next day, while I was praying, I asked God again what he would have me do. This time, he asked me, Are you willing to give me your husband's life? It is not easy to be ready to die. My husband and I prayed about this together. We said yes to God. The third day was the most difficult. On this day, God asked me if I was willing to give up my children's lives. The terrorists know who we are and that we share Jesus with Muslims. It is not safe for our family. My husband and I prayed and fasted, and together we agreed. God gave us our precious children. He has the freedom to take them back. When we agreed to put our children on the altar, I knew I had to tell them the truth. I told them that it was possible that men with swords may come through our door, men who didn't know Jesus. They may say bad things to us and try to force us to convert to Islam. But no matter what they say, we should not answer them. We should only tell them that Jesus loves them and that we forgive them. I told them that we might see some blood and have some pain, but it would only be for a little while. <laughs> that we should just close our eyes, and when we open them, we will be with Jesus. Am I a good mother? Do you have to tell my children such things? I also told them that as long as God wants us to be safe, we will be safe, that He is in control. Even during the bloodshed, during the killing, He is carrying our future. This is what it means to be a Christian in Syria.